In our Torah portion, Tetzaveh, we talk about the clothes that the priests had to wear in the time that they enter the Kodesh HaKodeshim, the Holy of Holies, when they, they went there to do their sacrifices. So they had to wear uh, on top of everything something called Ketonet, which is, was a tonic. Then uh, had to wear Michnasayim, they were breeches. Then they have to wear also Mitzanet, or we call Mikbaal, which are which it was a, a turban that they wear on top of their head, and uh, Avnet, which was a, a sash around the waist. And then the high priest had to wear the breastplate with the 12 stones representing the 12 tribes of Israel. It's interesting that the Torah is telling you the value of clothes, how you have to dress properly. In America today, people dress too properly. They wear brands that they cannot afford. They lust after clothes that uh, they really don't need because most of the time they want to use money that they don't have to impress people that they don't like. In my book, Secrets of Jewish Wealth Revealed, I have set myself to teach people how to manage their money properly from the smallest details to how to plan a financial life where you can uh, retire with dignity with a couple million dollars. In this book I try to teach people a perfect system that will teach them that your car should not be more than one or two months of your income. Your house cannot be more then one year of your income, maximum, 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 two years of your income, if you have a very, very large income, or if you have a, a very, very need for, for a big house, or, or houses are very expensive where you live. But I never spoke about clothes up to this moment. And according to my calculations, all the clothes you and your family own should not be more worth more than one percent not worth because clothes are not worth anything after you wear them should not cost more than one percent of your entire net worth which means um, if you were two million dollars would it be okay for you to have twenty thousand dollars worth of clothes those numbers were calculated, taking in consideration all the other needs you have. Sometimes we need to be able to define our clothes and not let them define us. In the next coming weeks, I will have very exciting news that I'm sharing with you. But for now, have a wonderful week. Shabbat Shalom. Have a beautiful Purim. Forget, in Purim, we mask ourselves to look like someone else. But our clothes do not make who we are.